students welcome to the lecture number 21 today we will discuss two more numericals based on pepus gardinus theorem as we have discussed in the previous lecture now let us see the example number 2 first what is given over here determine volume of revolution okay so this is the example of volume not area so must remember that whenever we have to find volume of revolution the given figure must be area okay so whenever volume of revolution we have to calculate assume that the given figure this given figure is almost of the area itself okay let's start now see this is the data of the sum determine volume of revolution generated by revolving plane area a b c d e a as shown in figure about y y axis so we have to rotate the element vertically about y y axis to 2 pi radians so angle of revolution is theta equal to 2 pi now write statement of theorem also but statement we have already discussed in the theory portion now let us discuss the numerical this is the point a b c d e okay now what is the data given in the numerical bc equal to 12 cm and cd equal to 3 cm now you can see bc this inclined line is 12 cm this angle is given to you is 30 degree so now what happens this bc dash portion bc dash this horizontal sorry this inclined hypotenuse is 12 cm so this bc distance bc distance will be 12 bc dash sorry bc dash distance will be 12 cos 30 written over here bc dash is equal to 12 cos 30 which will give answer of 10.392 cm similarly this vertical distance cc dash will give 12 sin 30 as per the trigonometry so 12 sin 30 will be given to you 12 sin 30 is equal to 6 cm this is the value of cc dash this two values bc and cd are already given in the data now again what is de see this is the horizontal length de now how to calculate this horizontal length de so you can see what is the radius of this quarter circle this quarter circle radius is given to you 20 cm so from o to b this distance is also 20 cm means radius now we have to calculate c ds o c ds o it means total radius this is total radius minus b c ds will give you c ds o which is equal to de okay so de is equal to 20 means radius minus this c ds b which is already calculated 10.392 so answer will be 9.608 cm and one more dimension we have to find is b c ds so as shown in figure bc as means this total vertical distance now dc this dc you can see this dc is already given as 3 cm plus you can add cc as you can add cc as which is given to you 6 cm as calculated earlier so now 6 cm plus this 3 so total answer will be 9 cm so all missing dimensions are now available to you okay bc cd is given in the data cc dash and bc dash are calculated from the trigonometry de and dc dash are calculated from the geometry of the figure okay so just carefully calculate this calculations in your calci now let us go ahead and see the calculations how the table comes so this is the table same figure i have taken over here now part wise list is given to you see this is the first part rectangle means this rectangle okay second part is triangle means this triangle b c c dash portion and last part is quarter circle which is given to you b o a this is the quarter circle now first of all we will find area in centimeter square for all the three parts and then after x bar means centroid of x coordinate centroid from the rotational axis means from the y y axis to the left side from the y y axis to the left side let us see how it comes first of all see the first part rectangle so for the rectangle this rectangle area will be de area will be de into vertical dc ds 
all the dimensions are calculated earlier de de means 9.608 you can check back in the calculation and vertical dimensions dc ds is equal to 9 so by multiplication we will get 86.472 cm square area of the rectangle similarly going ahead part 2 is triangle so for this triangle area will be one half base into height so what is base bc ds means 12 cos 30 what is height cc ds means 12 sin 30 12 cos 30 is 10.392 12 sin 30 is 6 so one half 10.392 into 6 will give you area of the triangle 31.176 centimeter square now let us go into the last part quadrilateral what is the area of the quadrilateral according to formula pi r square by 4 where radius of the quadrilateral circle is given to 20 cm so answer will be pi m to 20 square by 4 which will give you 314.15 cm square now let us talk about the cg first now what is the cg of the rectangle cg of the rectangle will be at the midpoint means at the center measuring from y axis this distance is our x1 is our x1 so it will be half of de means where is the de this is the de oh sorry this is the de in the rectangle 9.608 so half of that 9.608 is equal to 4.804 which will give you x1 means x coordinate of centroid of rectangle now where is the centroid of triangle it is over here from the height of the triangle this distance will be base by 3 see carefully this is base by 3 but up to y axis this distance should be added this de 9.608 should be added so total distance will be 9.608 plus this 12 cos 30 by 3 so 9.608 plus 12 cos 30 means this by 3 total answer will give you 13.07 and last one is quarter circle where is the quarter circle of the cg sorry centroid of the quarter circle it will be from the radius 4r by 3 pi according to formula 4r by 3 pi so 4r by 3 pi by replacing the values of radius 20 which will give you the answer of 8.488 centimeter so this will give you centroid x coordinate of the third part now what we have to calculate we have to calculate actually volume now volume is equal to as per the purpose gardener's theorem a1x1 plus a2x2 plus a3xc divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 so you can see in this figure a1x1 a2x2 a3 x3 divided by a1 a2 and a3 so this will give you the volume let us see on the next page so this is the next page in which again area is given summation of area a1 plus a2 plus a3 and as i have discussed you x bar equal to this formula formula for the cg so this will give you centroid of the particular part x bar and this is the volume sigma 2 pi x a now this is the separate method or you can see conventional method but as i have told you you can find the volume with the help of that formula only which formula given x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 now what is the purpose galdina's theorem it is a volume is equal to a theta and x bar so what is a so a means area area of the total element so this is a okay what is theta so theta is 2 pi and what is x bar so x bar is cg so sigma a is already available over here x bar we have calculated and theta means revolution up to 360 degree so this will give you the volume of the given figure so this is basically the first numerical in which we have to find volume let us see the next numerical in which we have to find area now we have to calculate area so it means what the given figure is of the length 2d element so let us see this is the length ab which is given to you 20 centimeter or mm everything in mm over here this is length bc which is 36 see this is 36 written over here 36 ab length 20 bc length 36 now this is in fact cd length of this length cd is not given to you but you can see carefully this vertical distance is 96 this vertical distance is 96 right okay 
Now the base, this base is how much? You can see this radius is equal to this radius means 60. Now this horizontal AB length is given to you 20. So you can subtract 20 from this radius 60. So this is 20 subtracting it from 60. You will get base of the triangle will be how much? 60 minus 20, 40. So now with the help of Pythagoras theorem, you can calculate under root of 96 square means this vertical side square plus 40 square. So by under rooting this, you will calculate CD is equal to 104 mm. So this is quite mathematical and Pythagoras theorem applicable for the length for the finding the length of CD. Now last length is DE. So what is D? D is the quarter circle arc. So for the quarter circle arc length is total circular arc by 4 which is by r by 4 by replacing the value of radius 60 you will get length of d equal to 94.25 mm so this is the length of all the four elements now let us calculate the x means central of x coordinate of all the four parts moving to the first part central of this horizontal line see remember all the lines are there not area because we have to find area so given figure must be length okay now cg of this particular length is at the midpoint measuring from the y-axis this distance this distance will be 10 mm okay now vertically line bc is given to you cg is at the midpoint so this length will be equal to 20 so x coordinate is 20 now for cd now cd is the inclined line so as i have told you about the shortcut method so line cd cg will be at the midpoint so just calculate the distance of endpoints suppose this is the endpoint c which is at a distance of 20 this is the endpoint 20d which is at a distance of 60 so this 60 plus this 20 so 60 plus 20 80 divided by 2 will give you this distance required distance so 80 plus sorry 20 plus 60 80 by 2 means 40 so you will get this answer 40 now last part quarter circular arc according to formula cg is from the radius 2r by 5 so by replacing the values in 2r by 5 you will get 38.20 now the last column is for the multiplication of this column and this column. So L into X will be 200, L into X will be 720, L into X will be 4160, L into X will be 3600. At the last, summation of all the lengths and summation of multiplication of L into X is given to you. Now what we have to calculate? We have to calculate area. So what is the formula of area? Area is equal to theta into L into X bar. So what is theta? 2 pi. What is L? Theta L X bar. What is L? L means summation of all the lengths which is given to you sigma L. Now what is remaining? X bar is remaining. So according to formula, what is X bar? L1 X1 plus L2 X2 plus L3 X3 upon L1 plus L2 plus L3. So let us calculate X bar first and then after area. Let us see in this figure. Okay. This is the surface area formula L theta x bar where theta is equal to 2 pi rotation of 2 360 degree. X bar is equal to sigma Lx upon sigma L means sigma Lx means what? L1 x1 plus L2 x2 plus L3 x3 as calculated in the table. So this is sigma Lx. Now division in division what is sigma L? Sigma L means length total L1 plus L2 plus L3 plus L4. By doing the division, we will get 34.14 mm. This is the value of x bar. Now calculating sigma, sorry, surface area L theta x bar. L means total length, which is 254.25 mm, summation of all the four lengths. Theta is equal to 2 pi and x bar equal to 34.14. So surface area will come 54538.64 mm square. So these are the basic calculations we will conclude the chapter over here chapter center of gravity is completed right now just do the practice of such type of numericals from your textbook we have discussed two numericals today first for the area and sorry first for the volume and second for the area by doing practice at your home you will masterize this method by your own till then 
goodbye students we will start a new chapter in the next lecture